lean and green. So tonight what we're gonna do is cheeseburgers on the grill and fries. Okay, what I'm gonna use for my fries is okra. I'm gonna roast this okra at a very high temperature so it gets really crunchy crispy, and I'm gonna cut them into the shape of french fries. Then for my burger, I'm going to grill hamburgers, and I'm gonna put them on these little outer aisle sandwich rounds. Okay, so how this is gonna work. Two of these rounds counts for one third of my lean. So I need four ounce burger to complete my lean, okay? Then for the vegetables, two of these counts for two thirds of one green. So to complete my three greens, I need two and one third green. Now how you decide to do that is totally up to you, okay? You can fill in the, the gaps with your lean and your green, however you choose to. I'm gonna use okra, lettuce, tomato, a tomato from my garden, and jalapenos. And I'll measure it out. I'm gonna use my vegetable conversion chart to figure out how much I need. And if you're not using that to weigh your vegetables, you're probably not getting enough vegetables. So reach out to your coach and say, hey, I need this vegetable conversion chart that this gingham girl is always talking about. <laughs> and, if, and if she's not sure what it is, let me know. I'll send it to you. It's super simple to use, but it's very important that you use it to make sure that you're getting the proper amount of vegetables. Because if you're weighing your vegetables in measuring cups, that's not the proper way to do it. That's for liquid measurement. You need to be weighing them on a scale to get the correct amount. Okay, enough of that. All right. I'm gonna go cut this okra up. Scott just got home, he's been playing golf. He's gonna help me in the kitchen tonight. So I'm gonna get these in the oven because these take a while. And then I'm gonna get him to fire up the grill. All right, here we go. So I wanna show you in real time. You're just gonna cut the ends off. Then you're gonna cut it lengthwise in half. And then you're gonna cut each one of them in half again. Okay, so then you're gonna end up with four little pieces. See, your little fries. Okay, the, the oven is preheated to 425. I'm gonna stick these little rounds in the oven for about 10 minutes and I'll flip them halfway through so they get nice and crisp on both sides. This is what they look like. And they are delicious. I also use these to make mini pizzas, just little small pizzas. All right. Whoops. In the oven we go. Back to cutting the okra. So I recruited some help back here. He's cutting up the okra. Hello. Okay, see, I, I taught him how to do it. Look, look how good he's doing. Finger's still intact. Finger's still intact. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna do a little math equation because we've got to figure out our greens um, between the lettuce, the tomato, the okra, and the jalapeno for me. So I know the okra is gonna be the star, so I'm gonna do one and a half greens in the okra. That leaves me a half and a third. I don't know what that is, but between them, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a third of a green in jalapenos and then a half of a green between my lettuce and tomato. I think that'll work. Let me try and see if I can figure it out. Hold on. Okay, so I've got my scale. I'm fixing to weigh my jalapenos. Jalapenos, a full green in jalapenos would be 1.59 ounces. Well, I'm only gonna get a third. So, oh, I figured up a half. Hang on, what would a third be? So that'd be like 0.3, right? 15, no point, that'd be like half an ounce, right? 0.5? Yes, half, 0.5, 0.25, quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Okay, our buns are out of the oven. They're very crisp. I got them a little crisp on one side, but that's okay, we like crispy. Toasted buns. Toasted buns. And I figured out the math. <laughs> I am no mathematician. But I figured it out. Okay, so in my jalapenos, I'm going to use my one-third green that I have left, and that's going to be, I'm cheating over here, I'm looking, 0.53. That's what we, that's what we thought. So I'm going to measure 0.53 on my little scale. Here, I'm going to angle you down so you can see. Here's my little scale. Put it on there. 
zero it out, and then let's measure out some jalapenos. I want 0.53 jalapenos. Perfect. All right, so those are the jalapenos for my burger. Now we're gonna figure out the tomato. So I'm gonna split the other green because I have, um, oh, that was my, hang on. Mine's already. No, that's actually the oven saying it's ready for the okra. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna split my tomato and my lettuce. Honey, would you grab me the lettuce, the head of lettuce? Uh, to make up the other half of the green. This sounds so complicated, y'all, but it is so not complicated. I'm making it sound way more complicated than it is. Hang on. I know this sounds extremely confusing. It sounds like you have to be a mathematician. You don't. You get three greens to complete your lean and green, okay? So I know that my little rounds, my little buns that I'm gonna use, they take up two thirds of one of those greens. So that leaves two and one thirds green. So my jalapenos are my one third green, and then I have two whole greens left. So what I'm doing is my okra is gonna be one and a half green, that leaves a half a green, and I'm splitting that between my lettuce and tomato. I have figured out the calculations using my vegetable conversion chart, and that's what I'm doing right now. So I don't think I need to go into all the math anymore. Y'all are smart enough to figure it out. You know you get three greens. Use your vegetable conversion chart to figure out how much you want of what, okay? Sound good? If you have questions, just let me know. And now I'm getting ready to roast this uh, okra. So I've got it all cut up. I know this looks like a ton of okra for two people. Scott's gonna have two full green servings, which is gonna be a lot. This stuff cooks down. You just can't imagine how it cooks down. And um, I'm gonna have one and a half servings. So what I do is I spread it out on my parchment paper and then I give it a few spritz, spritz, Spritzes, spritz, <laughs> sprays. I give it a few sprays of pan. You can use olive oil or the regular. Um, and I, that's my healthy fat. That's gonna, that's what I'm gonna count as my healthy fat. Uh, what I didn't tell y'all, hold on. This meal's gonna also have two condiments. The seasonings, the salt that we're gonna use on the okra and the seasonings in the burger is gonna count as one condiment. And then I'm going to grate um, 0.3 ounces of this low fat cheese that counts as one condiment. And we're gonna put that, is my hair doing a crazy thing? And we're gonna put that on our burgers so we can have cheeseburgers and fries. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this on there and get them in the oven. I gotta squat. Okay, wow, that is a lot of okra. It may be more than we need, but that's okay. Okay, I just took the okra out. I might put it back in for just a couple more minutes. Scott and I like it really crisp. Um, it'll probably look burnt to y'all, but that's how we like it. It smells so good. Okay, remember how much we had? Look how much it shrunk down. Okay, now I'm gonna weigh it and I'm really hoping that we have enough. Okay, we had to have another math discussion. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this is how much I'm supposed to have. That seems like a lot. So I'm gonna have to check with nutrition support on the cooked amount of okra because that was a ton of okra I cooked. Now it shrunk down considerably as you can see, but my husband would have to have even more of this. So he and I are gonna basically split it and he's gonna have a little salad maybe or something to beef up his Extra vegetables lettuce. later. He, you know, we're gonna add some stuff on our burger. But anyway, so yeah, because I just have a tiny bit left. I don't know y'all, I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to me. So anyway. It's okay, we'll add a little lettuce and tomato on our burger, or I'll add tomato, he won't. I just wanted you to see how yummy it looked before I put everything on it. Look at that cheese and those jalapenos. I'm so hungry. I like your shirt. <laughs> you like my shirt? Yeah. He's a big Sooner fan. I know we were Texans, but we like Oklahoma. Boomer. Sooner. We even have a dog named Boomer. That's right. This is Boomer right here. Okay, so this was definitely a labor of love and I think it's gonna definitely be worth it. Let's show them our plates. Here is our take on cheeseburger and fries. That's right. He's got quite a bit there and he put pickles on his. I put tomato and jalapeno on mine. We both have cheese to complete our um, protein. And because we've both had our full intake of water today, we're allowing ourselves to have our diet drink for the day. Yay. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have a Coke, you know, or something like that with- With burger and fries. Yeah, that's just, you know. All right, we're gonna dig in and then, okay, I hope I can get my mouth around this. This is big. 
Oh my. Here we go. Hope it's not real messy. That'll be embarrassing. <laughs> Mmm. That's good. So good. It's crunchy. I know that's captivating audience there with, but Mama told me never to talk with your mouth full. I know. I do oh. it all the time. I can edit that out. Okay. Let's try the fries. Crunch. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. They taste just like fried okra. Excellent. I mean, much better. Get. <laughs> there it goes. Boo! I guess that didn't work. Maybe. Okay, I think they're gone. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'm scary. <laughs> this is fun. Y'all have a great night, and uh, y'all be blessed, and y'all be well, and um, we'll see y'all next time. What do you always say? We're out. We're out. Can you reach it? I can't. Thank you.